Welcome to Search for the Truth. I'm Pamela Robertson. And I'm Patrick Powell. Today we're going to investigate two of the world's most prominent and influential men to determine, once and for all, which one holds the truth. Joseph Smith, a man who claimed to be visited by God and given golden tablets by the angel Moroni, from which he penned the Book of Mormon. This book provided a foundation for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the LDS Church, and teaches about a New Testament of Jesus Christ. Today, Mormonism flourishes in the U.S. and around the world. Was Joseph a deceiver, a madman, or a gifted prophet who was given divine instruction and the gift of translation to further God's kingdom? Jesus Christ, a man who claimed to be God, performed miracles and even raised the dead, including himself. Since his resurrection, he has been followed by countless men and women throughout the world who have placed their eternal hope in him alone. His teachings, found in the Bible, provide the foundation of Christianity. Did he become a God through the faithful keeping of his ordinances, or has he always been the only true God? The Bible claims to be the inspired Word of God, and it commands us to test all things, hold fast that which is good. Joseph Smith's writings claim to be another testament of Jesus Christ, and proclaim to the world that the Book of Mormon is the most correct of any book on earth. LDS Apostle Orson Pratt once stated, Convince us of our errors of doctrine, if we have any, by reason, by logical arguments, or by the Word of God, and we will be ever grateful for the information. Christianity and Mormonism, are they compatible? Do they share a common history? Both claim Jesus is the Christ. Both refer to the teachings of the Old Testament. Both claim to be the truth. However, you may be surprised to discover that there are significant differences. Let's now examine these two men and their teachings. 